George, it is great to see you. And I, do you think the, the industry can hold up this time around as well? Oh, great to see you, Kelly, and Happy New Year's. But absolutely, you know, sports for 30 years has grown a double-digit uh, kager. So it's been a very resilient class. And if you look at last year, I mean, recently, the Phoenix Suns at a $4 billion valuation. Chelsea, $3.1 billion is amazing. The Denver Broncos, it sounds crazy as it sounds, probably at, at $4.65 billion was a, was a steal. Mm-hmm. And, and as you mentioned... My- <laughs> No, but it's true. I mean, George, this is, the, this is, I guess, the point. And we have seen in the U.K. they saw things wobble a little bit with that kind of disastrous auction for Premier League really rights in 2018. But now that we're reaching a point of uh, max saturation and we're starting to see different big tech devices, streaming platforms get out of this game, the audiences aren't going to be what they once were. I don't know. Do you think that these valuations will be justified? If legacy cable goes away, like Alex Sherman, has, you know, sources have been reporting, in five to seven years' time, could we actually see the value of these uh, sports rights start to fall? And what would that mean for all of these uh, big acquisitions? You know, I don't, I don't think so. One, you have a scarcity. There's only a limited number of these premium brands. And two, I think the lifetime value of the consumer and data is going to unlock a whole new category of value. And sports are still the only things that grab big audiences and engage people in a, in a very passionate way. So I, I don't think there's any evidence to suggest that that's going to happen. It's possible because there will be a change in how, the way media is consumed, but we don't see any evidence of it. And, of course, you just saw the NFL with YouTube uh, break a new record in terms of what the value of that those rights are. So we haven't seen any evidence, and this is a question we've been answering for you know, 15 or 20 years. Yeah, and by, by the way, George, randomly, I sat next to a guy on a plane. He was a fan of yours, fan of, fan of CNBC's, of Charlie Besser. So he says hello, by the way, I'm Chicago-based. This is, you guys know each other, so there in you a, go. In a sports sports. Yeah, good man. That's it. Yes, and he was talking to me about how great pickleball is. Oh, no. No, seriously. And this paddle. is a pro league, so I asked that for a reason. It wasn't just random, which is a lot of sports on the ascension, George. Do you see some sports that are on the decline? Where is their work to be done? Not everything can boom. Yeah, you know, it's a good question. I mean, obviously, in the, in the major sports, baseball is probably the most challenged with 162 games and, and an older demographic. One of the sports on the rise is, is women's sports, particularly uh, in, in the Euro, European Women's Championships was an amazing success story. You know, I kind of like the, the uh, National Women's Soccer League here in the United States. So I'd say women's soccer globally is on the upside. Hmm. Baseball probably has the most head, headwinds, but are still strong. In baseball. That- is there any fix for baseball? The purists will tell you we got to have 162 games. Otherwise, all the records don't matter. But at some point, do you just say that was the old baseball? The new baseball is going to be 85 games in a season and no game longer than three hours unless it goes to extra innings. What's the fix? I think you got to look at those things. Shortening the season, other uh, bringing in new elements to the game, uh, maybe sh- shorter games, maybe seven innings versus nine. We saw them experiment with that in COVID. It went quite well. So you definitely have that pull between the, the purists and, and, and the reality on the ground that young people today sitting in one place for four hours watching something is unlikely. So you have to adapt your game for the future. And I'm sure those are the things you look at the things baseball is putting in for pace of play. They're looking at shortening the game and other innovations. 